All right, we're gonna do some core work together tonight. It's gonna be a Tabata interval. So you'll work for 20 seconds, rest and rotate for 10, work for 20. We're gonna do a total of four rounds. There'll be a little bit of variation or choices with the bridge and glute work. So follow me. Here we go. We're gonna start with side planks. So come onto the floor, or if you know elevated side planks, you can do them elevated, either on your knees or on your toes. Yep. Three, two, one, and come on up. Holding nice and square, shoulders and hips in alignment. Lift up out of this bottom shoulder. You can reach the arm up to overhead or hold it on the hip. Hold it nice and smooth. So again, hold for a total of 20. If you're not quite to 20 seconds yet, I would just take down the progression. And there's our rest. From the side plank, we're gonna go to glute bridges. Put the shoulder blades back and down, bend the knees, two, one, and here we go. Hips up and open, engaging the glutes. You can rest the hands on the hips or at the side. You can even weight this if you ever wanted to hold like a dumbbell on your hips. And on the next round, you can stick with this glute bridge or I'm gonna show you a bridge pose. So this would always be an option as well. And there's our 20. And we're switching back to side planks on the opposite arm. Just set the elbow right underneath the shoulder and here we go. Up and hold for 20. Find something to focus on. Breathing and holding. This shoulder will tend to curve forward so you want to keep pulling it back to stay in line with the hips. And rest and rotate. Good job. We're going to go back to the back. This time we're going to work the lower abs with some tuck ups. Two, one, and here we go. Lifting them up and down, controlling it down, not letting the low back arch. So it's really important that you're bracing through the core, pushing the low back into the floor. And this will be one that we're going to vary from each set as well. But feel free if you like this movement, you can stick with it on later rounds. Good job. And we're going to rotate back to that left side plank. So that's one cycle. We're going to do that a total of twice more. And here we go. Up and hold. Excuse me. Three more times. I said four rounds total. So lifting up out of the shoulder, keeping your hips and shoulders square. And there's our 20. Good job. Back to the glutes, either bridge or now you can join me if you want for the bridge pose. So either the regular bridges up and down or here we go. Set the shoulder blades. See if you can interlace the hands and then we'll hold here for a full 20. Shouldn't have any pinching in the back. Continue to engage the glutes, drive through the heels. I like to tuck that chin in as well. Kind of helps open up the back of the neck. Two, one, and rotate. Swinging around to the opposite arm side plank. Stack that elbow right underneath the shoulder and up and hold. Here we go. Breathing smooth. Good focus. And the hips will start to sink down. So keep lifting them up towards the sky or ceiling. Holding nice and strong. Two, one, and rotate. Good job. Back to the backs. So you can either stick with those tuck ups or this time I'm gonna do the upper body portion. We're gonna do like a roll up. So we'll go hands behind the head, sitting up and back. So chin in, just lift straight up. Try not to crunch the neck. Just lifting the upper part of the abs here. One more, up and rest. Fantastic. Swing it around. Start around three. Two, one, and here we go. Up and hold for the plank. And you can raise the arms straight up. Watch that shoulder tends to rock forward, so pull it back in alignment with the hip. Three, two, one, and rotate. Good job. Glute bridges or bridge pose. 
Pull the blades back and down, bend the knees. Two, one, and here we go. Up and hold, extend the arms underneath the body, or just hold them at the sides for the regular glute bridges. And three, two, one, rest and rotate. Third cycle of side plank on the right. Stack that elbow under the shoulder. Two, one, and come on up. Up and hold. Breathe. If you've been staring at a screen all day, please feel free to relax the eyes closed and just hold nice and smooth. Give your brain a break from looking at the computer screens. Three, two, one, and rotate. Good. So you can stick with one of the two that we did, the tuck up and the roll up, or you can come into what we call a hollow body for this one. I'm going to show it with bent knees first. So chin in, I'm going to come up and hold. I'm really focused on my low back pushing into the floor. Chin in. If I start to arch and lose that low back posture, you want to come down and reset. So we're engaging the whole core there. Chin in. Two, one and rest. Beautiful. At the end of set three, we're going to do one more rotation. Back to the side plank on the left. And up and go. Shoulders back, chin in. Core work's not always exciting, but it's one of the best things that we can do for our spinal health, keep our back strong, by keeping our core strong. That core is what supports our spine. Good job. Last cycle of bridges. I'm going to go back to the glute bridges this round. Set the shoulder blades. And up and squeeze. Down and relax. Really engage the glutes, pushing the hips open. Okay, it helps kind of work against that bent position we have through our hips all day long. If you sit quite a bit for your, for your job or just in life. One more here, up and open, and relax. Awesome. Final side plank. Back the elbow, and here we go. Up and hold. Good focus. So tonight we're just doing shorter intervals. Ideally with our side plank strength, you want to build up to be able to hold a total of 90 seconds on each side. That would be kind of like our goal for long-term core strength and rest. All right, and last one, we're gonna stick with that hollow body. This time we'll show it with the straight legs, but make sure that if it's tough here with that one, just stay there. And here we go. And actually what I'll show is a variation where I'll bend one, and about every five seconds I switch. So again, really engaging the lower abs, Three, two, one, and relax. Fantastic. All right, from there, we're gonna go into some mobility for the low back. So we're gonna stay here on the back, and but we're gonna start seated. So shoulders back, knees bent, feet flat, and we're gonna rock the legs to one side and then to the other. Open up through the hips, probably windshield wipers. Good. From here, let's come onto the side and we're going to get a good stretch for the quads. So on the elbow, grab the foot, pull it back. You can use a rope or like a, a towel or a strap around the foot as well. <clears throat> I'll hold about 20 seconds here. You could also like outstretch the arm and just lay down on the side if you prefer. Grass can get a little itchy, so I'll stay up here. Good. And rest. Let's go ahead and switch around to the other leg. Job. Other leg, pulling the heel towards the glute. Okay, 10 more seconds here. And you can also focus to like try to contract your glute on the side you're stretching and that helps relax the front of the muscles. Good, rest there. Go ahead and lie on your back now. And now we're gonna plug both legs in and feel free to rock yourself side to side. So 
very good. From here, we're gonna extend one leg out. Start with pulling knee to the same side shoulder. Roll the ankle around a couple times. Three to five one way. And then reverse directions, roll up the other direction. Right from here, let's just go nice traditional hamstring stretch. So foot straight up. Get a little bit of movement as well by pointing the foot away. Pull it towards your face. Point away. Pull it in. Switch sides. That leg goes straight out. Pull the opposite leg towards the same side shoulder. Roll the ankle around here. And then when you're ready, move into that hamstring stretch on this side. This is a good time to notice. If you tend to find that one side's more stiff than the other, what a great way to do um, or to address that is to you can always pause the video and stretch that side twice. So you'd want to stretch that leg first, then the other leg, and then you can come back and stretch which side has some tension. All right, let's go back to the first leg. We're going to move into a glute stretch. So as you pull it to the shoulder, take it across the body, and then you're looking to get the outer glute here. I'm going to look over that same side shoulder. Relax the eyes closed. Let's take three nice deep breaths here and then we'll switch sides. Two more breaths. Good job. Straighten that leg out. And the other, pull it in towards the shoulder. And again, we're taking it across the body. Not, notice that my hips mostly stay planted. And we're just looking to isolate the glute on this side. And then I'm going to look over this shoulder. Feel free to close the eye. Let's go three deep breaths here. Very good. Next, we're going to move into what we call our figure four stretch. So let's take the foot to the opposite thigh. And then you're going to take your inside hand in between the legs, outside hand around. If it's tough for you to reach the legs, you can use a band or a towel and put through the legs and then hug that in. Otherwise, we're going to hug this in. This is getting a little bit deeper into the hip. And then we can add the hamstring and what we call like a sciatic nerve floss by extending the leg. Point the foot away, pull it towards your face, and then bend the knee down. As you bend that knee down, hug the leg in. Take a moment there. Well, let's do that twice more. Bend the knee, point the foot, lift the foot, and bend that knee in. One more. Up, point, lift, and bend. Good job. Switch sides. Hug the leg in, relax your head back. So if you can't really relax the head back and reach the thigh pulling it in, that's when it's a good idea to grab a towel, grab a band, wrap it around the thigh, and use that twist just to stretch so you can keep the rest of your body in a relaxed position. And we're doing our sciatic nerve floss here. Bend the knee down, extend the leg up, point the foot away, pull it towards your face. Good job. Let's do one more. Excuse me there. Fantastic. All right. From here, we're going to um, finish with what we call a um, single leg twist or a thoracic spine, excuse me, sideline thoracic spine opening is what I'm trying to say. So on the back, you can use a block or a pillow, um, whatever might be convenient if, like, if you don't feel comfortable to twist too deeply. So we're going to bring this leg. So I've got my right leg. I'm going to bring it across the left side of the body. And this is where I can use that block to support the knee. From here, splay the arms out to the side. Same side that's going into that twist. So on my right side, you're gonna bring it across the body, hand to hand, and nice slow opening here. Follow it with your gaze. Try to bring that shoulder all the way back to the floor. Twice more, hand to hand. Up and open, nice and slow. Pause here, this open position. Nice deep breath. On the third one, 
Now we're gonna start to walk the hands over the head. Nice opening through the chest. I'm just walking the fingers around, turning the hand open. And then when I get all the way here, now I'll pause. And then we'll switch sides. So I'll take this to the opposite side, knee up and across. Find that level that feels good. And we'll start by hand to hand here. Open nice and slow, follow with your gaze, trying to bring that shoulder blade back to the floor if you can open that much. And if you can't, just be patient, work on it, be consistent with your stretching. Good to practice your mobility. On the third one, remember we're gonna walk the hand over the head. Within reason, the more flexible with your body, the less likely you'll have injuries. Couple breaths here. Fantastic. And then feel free, you can take a few moments for yourself. Extend the legs out, or you can put a little pillow under the knees if it feels more comfortable. And then feel free to finish here in corpse pose. Palms up, shoulders back. And you can bend the knees if it feels better there as well. Close your eyes and just take a few minutes to yourself. All right, so feel free to hang out there. We're gonna go ahead and conclude this session of the video, but thanks for coming. Sun's going down and um, Keep taking care of your body, keep your core strong, keep your back flexible. Your body will take care of you. Hope to see you next time.